Welcome to my series on the Northern Constellations. I hope you find this series fun and educational, and that it helps you learn how to navigate your way through the night sky by being able to recognize the patterns made by the stars. Orion is one of the most prominent constellations in both hemispheres. During the month of December, Orion rises in the east shortly after sunset and moves toward the west throughout the night. It is visible throughout the world and is recognized in many cultures as a significant grouping of stars. In ancient Greece, it was thought to form the pattern of the great hunter Orion. It is one of the most easily recognizable of all the constellations, and it contains many interesting stars and nebula. The constellation contains many stars, but it is the brightest seven that form the recognizable pattern. One of the most familiar of these stars is Betelgeuse, which is located to the upper left in the constellation. It is a red supergiant that is approximately 640 light years from Earth. If Betelgeuse were placed in the solar system in place of our Sun, its radius would extend nearly to the orbit of Jupiter, engulfing all the terrestrial planets. Betelgeuse was the first star other than the Sun to have star spots resolved in a telescope. The star is losing a tremendous amount of mass due to the fact that it is in a very advanced stage of its life. It is likely that Betelgeuse will undergo a supernova at some point in the relatively near future. If this star explodes as a supernova, it will be brighter than the full moon in the night sky, and will even be visible during the day. Due to the distance of the star and the fact that its polar axis is pointed away from Earth, it will not cause any damage to our planet, but will likely be a spectacular view. Rigel is the star located to the lower right in the constellation. It is located between 700 and 900 light years from Earth. It is a blue supergiant and the brightest star in the constellation. It is an estimated 40,000 times more luminous than our Sun, and it is the most luminous star in our local region of the Milky Way. The system is known to contain at least three, and possibly four, stars. An interesting feature is the Witch Head Nebula, located close to the star Rigel. Rigel is passing through this area of nebulosity and lighting it up. The nebula spans roughly 50 light years and appears to be gazing at the star as it passes by. The three stars that comprise the belt of Orion are also blue supergiants. These stars are Mintaka, Onalam, and Onatok. The famous Horsehead Nebula, imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope, is located close to the star Onatok, the star on the far left of Orion's belt. The Orion Nebula is one of the most studied objects in the night sky. It is a large area of gas that is currently in the process of star formation. Thousands of different stars in varying stages of formation have been observed in this nebula. Here you can see many of the individual systems. The material is being bent around these objects and forms what is called a bow shock. The mechanism responsible for this is a cluster of supermassive O-class stars at the heart of the nebula called the trapezium. O-class stars are the most massive, most luminous stars in the universe. At least six stars in this cluster can be resolved through a telescope, and many of these stars are binaries. These stars will live short lives and end as spectacular supernova in a few million years. Other nebula and star-forming regions include the Flame Nebula, located close to the star Onatok in Orion's belt, Messier 43, and Messier 78. All of these are part of the larger Orion Molecular Cloud Complex, where a multitude of new star systems are being born. So the next time you step out into the night, during the winter, and look up, take a moment to enjoy the beauty and complexity of the constellation known as Orion.